Sure. Right? Um, I started my YouTube channel back in 2008 because I learned that our monetary system is unfair because it transfers wealth from the poor and the middle class to the rich. I learned this because I was watching uh, the Republican debate and uh, Ron Paul said that, hey, you know what, this is unfair, our system, we need to come up with a new system. And, there, and I thought, what? What do you mean that our system, our financial system is unfair? And I'm, I'm sure he's lying, this politician, he's a lying politician. And he's like, government wouldn't do that. And, he's, and they said, everybody said, yes, that's true, and then they moved on. I'm like, what a sickness. He just said, our whole system cheats everybody. <laughs> that's not right. And I realized I didn't understand what money was and how it worked. And so I decided to search about how money works. And, you know, I went to the library and there was absolutely no books on how money works. That's all purpose. <laughs> and I decided, I decided to search and find a, I found a book called The Creature from Jekyll Island. And I thought, okay, that book, I'm going to get that book and we'll find it in the library. And yeah, they have it as a reference copy, right? You can't take out of the library. And I'm like, oh my god, these guys are really trying to hide what money is. And after reading that book, I realized, oh my god, this was the biggest scam against humanity ever. Because the way our money works, it, 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 it's, a, a, it's a wealth transfer system to anyone who understands how the system works. And it transfers wealth from the people who don't. So I was shocked. Oh my god, did you know that when you go to a bank, you can print money? That's how you. That's how money gets created. When you borrow money from a bank, it gets printed just then and there. When you take your credit card and you swipe it, you just created money. When you pay it off, you destroy the money. That's our system. And you're thinking, well, what's wrong with that? That seems okay. So what? We print some money when we borrow it, destroy it when we're done. Hold on, here, right? Pretend for a second we're on an island, right? And uh, there's no money on the island. And there's like, you know, a housemaker, a fisherman, right, and a cook. And the cook says, you know what, I, I, I want to buy a house, right? And I don't have money to buy a house, there's no money on the island. And, I, and I'm the banker, and I go, come along and say, yeah, yeah. I, I got an idea, I got this address right here, right? And I'm going to print up the money, right, and give it to you, so you can buy that house from that housemaker, right? I'm going to print up $100, right, and I'm give it to you so that you can buy the house. And so, but you have to pay me $110 next month. All right, all right. You, you, you think, okay, that's a great deal, right? Um, and uh, you get, take the $100, and then he's, he, he spends it to buy the house, and then, well, wait a second. How much money is on the island? $100. How much does he have to pay me back? $110. How's he gonna get $110? Well, that's simple, just somebody has to borrow more money from me. <laughs> So this is our system, right? So I constantly get, I constantly have slaves working for me forever because they always have, we always have to borrow more money, more money. And if the people don't do it, guess who gets to do it? Well, I can always get the government to do it. And they will tax you to pay me, which I printed the money for free. And that's our system. And this is, this shocked the hell out of me. How could we have gone this far running this kind of system and nobody knew about it. So I had to do a YouTube channel and talk about how to survive this current, uh, this cancer in our, in our society. Because the banking system is a cancer. It has, it has grown from a, uh, an industry that's usually only 5% of the whole industry to now it's 46%. This 46% of our whole, uh, our whole market, the banking industry. Why? Because it's, only, it's a way to suck wealth up just that. So when Satoshi finally made Bitcoin, and I heard about it back in 2011, because one of my subscribers said, hey, Davinci, what do you think about Bitcoin? I said, scam. No, I'm a software developer. Nobody can solve the double spend problem. What that is, basically, having a digital asset that no one can copy. So for example, we all know that you can copy movies, right? You can copy music. So if you were to try to take some sort of digital asset and say, okay, well, I'm gonna transfer it to somebody, how do you know that that person can't transfer it to, to 10 different people? That's a double spend problem. So I knew as an engineer that you can't solve that problem because it's been tried many, many times and they failed. 
And so I told him, listen, I'm going to read the source code. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have to burst your bubble. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. <laughs> so I read the source code. I'm like, the guy did it. I couldn't believe it. And so my actual first video, that one that's available on the web, right, that nobody's seen here, yeah, I noticed. <laughs> that, uh, that's uh, from 2013. That's not the first video. Uh, my first video got taken down, actually. It was like, I, I told people back in March of 2011 that, um, hey, you know what? Every once in a while, something comes along that makes poor people rich because they get to buy it really early and really cheap. This is one of them. And I thought for sure that, you know, I was going to be the hero, right, because I had like, well, I was a part of a big gold and silver community uh, back then, right? And I thought people would appreciate me, thought, oh my god, thank you, Dimitri, for, no, they thumbed down my video, I got 750 uh, thumbs down, for, compared to like 110 likes, uh, they thought I'd lost my mind. I mean, I got, like, a whole gold and silver community started making fun of me, I wish I had all the videos up there. There's whole channels dedicated to making fun of me as I tried to explain what Bitcoin was over and over again. Um, I did my best and I, I said, listen, people, I don't want you to, I don't want to go come back, go into the future and, and have to say, I told you so. <laughs> I was so desperate to get people to buy Bitcoin that I said, listen, you know, I have a lot of gold and silver, a lot. I'm going to insure your money. This is how sure I am about this, <laughs> about this currency. Okay, it's going to be the future. There is no if, ands, or buts about that. <laughs> it is something that it's like, it's like I don't know, inventing a new spaceship, right? A faster than light spaceship. You can't uninvent it. It's here to stay, and that's what Bitcoin is. It's not going anywhere. And it's a better money, it's a thousand times better than anything that, that we have today. Better than gold, better than the fiat, obviously better than the current fiat system that we have. <laughs> obviously. And so, I, I, I wanted people to get involved as soon as possible, in the early stages. And we're still early, we're still early even today. Because, how many here have Bitcoin? Raise your hand. Oh wow. What? Uh, not bad, my, a third, a third, okay, so, so you see, we're still early, we're still early, and so you can buy it in today, but you know, just small amounts, don't go crazy, just because you know what, there's a lot of things you have to learn, I'm not saying that it's not, it, you might lose all your money because it would go to zero, no, I'm saying there's things you have to understand about Bitcoin, it's that's, that's not the same with our current financial system that you're, you're so used to, so make sure you go slow, Take your time and learn what it is you need to learn in order to uh, to best handle Bitcoin because it's easy to lose it. Like a lot of people have put all their their life savings in, and yeah, they ended up sent, transferring it to the wrong person by accident. And yeah, you don't want to be you don't want to do that. So make sure you try with a little bit of money first, so you know exactly how to navigate the, this, this Bitcoin system because it's not as as intuitive as you think it is, right? right? But once you get to used to it, it will get uh, easier. When I started my YouTube channel, I was like, I never wanted to, to do this, to do it, because I, I'm not a, a public speaker. I, I was always terrified to speaking in front of public, in front of everyone. Um, uh, and uh, I, I, I only did it because when I was a kid, I watched this video um, of this little boy on the, on the beach, right? He saw it was a storm the night before, and he and there was all these fish on the beach, beached up, and he was throwing the fish, some of the fish, back in the water, and um, and this little girl came to him and said, "Why are you throwing the fish in the water?" Right? Uh, and the boy said, "I'm trying to save them." Right? And she's like, "I look around. There's so many fish on on the beach. How's it possible you're going to save them? save them save them all? What will it matter?" Right? Because you can't save them all. And then he said, well, it will matter to the ones I do save. And so that's when I realized that because I understood something that nobody else understood, I had to even try just explaining it to just one person and saving one person from the financial destruction that's coming to everybody in the future. Because this system does have an end to it because it is, it's not sustainable, our financial system. 
is not sustainable at all. And so it will come to a collapse, draining all the wealth from everyone who do not understand how it works. So uh, that's why I felt that the need to explain it to even just a few people that would listen to me, even though I'm not a very good public speaker. And that's why I started my channel. Uh, and so, because nobody, nobody in my family was listening to me, they thought I was crazy. <laughs> and actually, you know what? The thing is, in the book, The Creature of Jack Island, the, um, the people who wrote, who wrote together our financial system, they said that, they said this, they said that, you know, um, the people who, who understand our financial system will either do two, two, one or two things. They'll either support us, right? Or they'll be called crazy. And that's so true. That was so true.